so let's now proceed to our next step that is configuring 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 the application server so how to do that let's proceed to that click on start then all programs here you can see this folder named Oracle common home and then you can configure the application server So uh, we will now be creating a, a weblogic domain, new weblogic domain. So this because it's the first time we are doing the configuration. Click on next. So uh, depending upon your requirement, you can uh, select the uh, required products. So I'll be choosing Oracle Source Suite for developers, then uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager then Oracle GRF web service asynchronous services so click on now next here you can give any uh, any domain name you like to provide here I will be choosing SUA dev as my domain name and uh, the domain location is Oracle middleware user projects domains then this is the location of applications so click on next here you have to provide the administrator username and password let the default value be there and for the password I'll, I'll be choosing welcome one so let me just keep a note of that Now click on next. Choose the development mode or if, if you are using for production you can choose this one. Select the JDK. I will be choosing Sun JDK. Click next. Then these, these are the component schemas and we have to configure one by one each one of them. Now first we will be configuring so infrastructure. Check on it. And here you have to provide all the values. So uh, choose the schema password as uh, what we have earlier chosen. This one is this schema password Oracle. So we'll be providing that schema password, the same schema password here Oracle, and DBMS slash service will be ORCL, and you have to provide it here localhost. And 1521 is the default port for Oracle database. It's known as Oracle uh, database listener. Now we'll be configuring, configuring the next component, user messaging service. Provide, provide the password here. The same Oracle, then localhost. Oracle and localhost the next component Oracle localhost so we are now done with the configuring all the components now we will be clicking on next so here you can see all the uh, um, components are prob were properly configured here you can see the status if uh, the status is not this one so uh, you might have made some mistake so let's now click on next choose the admin server click on next uh, provide the listen address as localhost click on next then um, this is the configuration summary 
now click on create creating domain so we are now completely done with the uh, domain creation so now click on done so we are now done with the configuring uh, application server